How sad! Look what happened to our beach! This is enough to make a grown person cry. <sighs> it's what happens when you don't thin the fruit out on branches on young trees. Yeah, it's broke. That's so sad. There's a little bit of water held here and maybe about half of the tree it's is broke. left. So, I don't know. It's pretty bad. Yeah, we got a lot of fruits too. And this is the big one. The one that produces a lot. So much spruce over there. So, what's our solution? Pound in a new stake here. Someplace over here. If we can find ground that's soft. Okay, so we're pounding the stake. Pound the stake. Gonna have to trim some of the fruit off of the tree to lighten its load. You can see the white support legs there because the winds were so high it actually had blown the branches up where those stakes mm -hmm. supports came out and when they fell over then there was nothing to hold the weight of the tree so it came down and it snapped. Okay. So hopefully there's enough tree that we can bandage up but we got to lighten it load a lot. Then we'll try to straighten it up and bandage it. And if we're lucky, it will heal. That will be that. But it'll goal. probably always be a weak spot, so we'll have to keep it wrapped or something. Okay. So, that's the plan. set of supports from another tree that almost the same thing happened except for you would thin the fruit out. Oh, you already removed that? It, it was standing there like this. With a, a little branch holding it down here. Oh. So, it actually, it had removed itself. Okay. So, we'll do this. Well, unfortunately, with high winds last night and being in a drought and everything, and us being a little greedy on the fruit, our tree went and snapped. So we put a couple limbs on it and some zip ties, like if you're casting an arm or splinting a broken arm. The zip ties, they'll start, if the tree actually lives, the zip ties will grow into the tree a little bit. But they'll pro most likely rot and pop before they cause any real damage. The main da thing is to try to get the tree to heal and make a strong joint. Mm -hmm. We wrap some stretchy plant plastic stuff around where the, the break was to try to keep the bugs out. And we're using poles from a, an old canopy. To support, to add more support, but I mean, if you can look on this tree, and we probably have about 80 pieces of fruit. Yeah, right, there's quite a few here. Right now, they're, still right now they're, small. Golf, they're golf ball size and stuff. But I mean, average piece of fruit, like for a good size a peach, dollar. is a dollar. Yeah. So we can make this tree live through the season. We can always buy a, another bare root tree at the start of next year for like 12 15 bucks at costco so that's our patching job our solution for this injured man well, you're in your yard and you're not barking i don't know why they don't use their secondary fence hopefully this guy will help will heal 
so there's this is just a small fruit so far it's still gonna grow bigger times to the the oh, weight of what is it probably, is right now probably times four yeah that's why we so, got rebar so yeah we have rebar there too huh yeah. anything yeah, we can do to try to die over these, there and get her let the branches heal but or the tree heal and so we don't lose all this fruit yeah it's a lot of money yeah there's a lot of fruit here speaking of that this branch we should probably zip tie it right here like this. Yep, yeah, okay. I'll do that. Just look at all the weight on it. It's going to break. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's a few, so I'm going to grab one. Probably 20. I'll be back. So, that's how we're, we did, we put a uh, splinter, is that what it is? Splint. S splinter here. Splint. We Not support. a splinter. Oh, splint. Oh, hopefully it will work, it will support, and hopefully it will heal the tree. It's not really not the best patch. Well, you want to make it better, you got to take the fruit off the tree. <laughs> 